Hi everybody. Welcome back or welcome. This is Cheryl from Cheryl's Creations. Um, I don't have any completed projects at this time. Well, I'm halfway through an order, but I wanted to give you an update on um, my Lido doll project. And a number of videos ago, I showed you that I had bought this book, Lido Dolls. I think they're just adorable. And so I have one part way done. Um, and so I thought I would show you the pieces or where I'm at. Um, and a couple of things that I did or didn't do because, you know, crocheters tend to alter the, the patterns to do what they want them to do. So I have done, I mean, I didn't make a lot of changes. I just made a couple of things. Um, so I don't have the body yet. Um, what I do have, this piece is what they call, I'll show you the color. Um, and I can't even, I, I can't even tell you what the name of this color is. It's, it's out in the other room. Um, but this is a variegated and I think it feels like I love this yarn, um, from Hobby Lobby is what it feels like. Um, and then this, the, this is a trim, which is, um, a purple, which is an, I love this yarn. And then, um, a sage green as a kind of a ruffle underneath. And this is what they call the underskirt. So there will be another piece. Once this goes on the body, there'll be another piece that goes on it. So this is one of the first pieces they had me do. Um, and so, um, that's that piece. Um, I think the first pieces I did were the arms and so here are the arms. Um, I, I did a, um, bubble stitch for the thumb. I don't know if you can see those. I got all kinds of, of threads, but there's those. Now this part is a cuff and one of the alterations I made was when I did it the way the pattern says it was like real poofy and and like bulky and I didn't like the way it looked so be so I pulled it back and um took out or uh, or cl made this a tighter because this does it, it, you can pull it back because what you actually do is you crochet I I hooked on to the stitches here and then um, once I was done with the rest of the arm, you crocheted this on and you flip it down and it becomes the cuff of the, of the, of the shirt or the dress. Um, and I didn't like it being real poofy. So I slimmed that up on both of these. Okay. The other piece, um, I have... I have almost two full legs. So um, this is one of the feet. And what I didn't do on this one is they say to put a piece of something stiff in the bottom so that it keeps the foot. And, and I wasn't worried about it for this one. This is kind of my trial and error. Um, but look how big, look how big that's going to be. I mean, that's their foot. So the foot comes up and I do have one that is completely all the way up to where it's going to connect to the body. So after the cream for the skin, um, you attach the white and then it gets a, a ruffle around it. Um, so that's as far as I've gotten on the legs. Um, once I get the white on this one, um, you connect them together. Um, you know how a lot of patterns do you, you crochet a couple chains and then you, you start going up the body. So that will be, that will be the next piece. Um, 
so it'll go up. I'll show you the picture here. It'll go up into the hips. Okay, so I'm getting real close to um, starting on the body. Um, and then it has, it calls it an under torso. And you do um, a remove, you can, you, there's options. You can do removable skirts or attached skirts. And um, that then attaches to some of the clothing. Some of the clothing is attached, some of it is not. Um, so I've got to decide on how I want to do that um, as I go along. Um, this is what it will look like, even though I have a little different colors that I'm using. I don't know if you can see that real well. Um, this is what the torso will look like um, when I get up that far. And then you actually do the head um, last, where a lot of patterns you do the head first. So, I mean, I guess I could do the head first, but, you know, I might as well do it in order, right? So... And then the hair is a hair cap. Um, and then it has shoes. And there's a difference between the right and the left because they're like a little Mary Jane shoe. So the buckles have to go on the backs outside. Um, you know, and then there's dress pieces. Um, you know, and I did not realize when I got it. Oh, and then there's flowers. There's a hat. Hat and flowers to go on the hat and um and there's a bag or a purse so um i didn't realize when i ventured into this project how many pieces there were but i guess if you look at the pictures you can see these have a lot of accessories to them and um, I think it's going to be really cute and very cool. Um, I, I, you know, I think I want to put it in my shop um, or sell it at my craft shows. But this, this is going to have to be a hefty, hefty price. Um, because this has got a lot of work, a lot of pieces, and it's more yarn, more product than the majority of the stuff I do. So, um, but I thought I would, I would give you an update. Um, and the one bad thing I realized when I picked this book up this evening, I normally, see, this is where my hook normally is. It fell out. Now I have to think about what hook I used. Um, I'm going to venture to guess I used the, uh, what has been, uh, you know, what they suggested, which I think was, um, oh, three, this is a 3.5, except the hair, which is a 4.25. So I'll have to see whether that's what I used. I'll have to do a little bit of a scrap piece to, um, make sure that I don't get everything all out of whack because, my hook is not with my stuff. So my husband says I have too many bags and this one was not in a bag. So, um, and what did I do the other day? I bought a couple bags from a friend. <laughs> you gotta, these are absolutely adorable. You gotta see the bags. These are cute. Um, ugh, here I am. Okay, these are 31 bags. Oh no. I really need to clean up in here. Um, these are 31. They're the square containers. Um, but I thought it was cute. A little cute project bag. Got a pocket on this side. So nice and nice and big. Um, and then it's the same style, but I love this pattern. It's bright and cheery and Look at this pattern. Isn't it great? Just looks like something kind of fun. So I love the, the, the pinks and the orange and the yellow. So I think maybe I'll have to take this bag out there and put my doll project in this one so I don't start losing pieces. 
So leave it to me, right? So, in fact, I'll just put these pieces right in here. Ta-da! All right. So those are my new bags. That's my progress on the doll. And um, thanks for hanging out and seeing what I've been up to. Um, I hope that my next video will be uh, some new completed projects and um, hopefully it'll just be in a day or two. So anyway, have a fantastic evening. Stay cool if you are in this heat zone because I know many of you are um, and it's just ugly hot. And um, take care of yourself, crochet away, and I will see you the next time. Bye.